Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C language tutorial. In the previous video, I had explained you how the linear search works and in this video, I will write a program which works on the logic of linear search. That is searching all the elements to find the key element one by one. So now let's start writing the program. Firstly, we will be requiring some variables. Let's say our A will be our array whose max size will be 10 then I require i one more variable n m and one more c whose value I initialize to be 0 then uh, I will print to the user enter the size of the list ok here I will get the size of the list and I will store the size of the list in my one variable whose integer type that's why d and whose uh, name is sorry n okay so n will be the variable which will be storing the length of my total array which should not be more than 10 because my array can hold only 10 values okay then after that I will tell him to enter the values okay enter the values and I will store that in my array so again person D and A okay so as you know my A is an array so it should be like this okay run open and closing square bracket and uh, I need to store these values some um, couple couple of number of times so for that we'll be using a for loop which will work on i okay whose value initialized to be 0 and i should be less than or equal to n minus 1 what is i i is n is what is sorry what's n n is the length of my array so every time my for loop executes I want to increment my loop and the values in my array should uh, be inserted according to the value of i so when this completes I'll be having all the values in my array so now I want uh, him to give me uh, an, an element to search so I will tell him enter the search element and uh, when he will give me the search element I will store that element in my variable m ok now I have the search element now I will need to start the searching of that element in my whole array so for that I will copy and paste my this for loop exactly the same way and uh, in this block I will check for a condition if my a which works on i is equal to equal to m that is if my value at position i is equal to my search element that is my I found my search element so I will say or I will initialize my c value to be equal to 1 and I will break break means it will come out of this if if condition and it will come uh, out to my uh, for loop okay and uh, after my for loop I will again give a condition if my c is equal to equal to 0 I will print f that the number is not found okay and uh, if I found that number I will just again copy it the number is uh, found at position person D I plus 1 okay so now so now um, we'll execute it yep uh, enter the size of the list 
let me say six the values are one two five nine eight seven so let me say my search element is five the number is found at position three my five is at one two three position okay my third five is at third position so my search uh, linear search program works perfectly so how it searched first it went to the first element then it found out that my search element is not equal to my first element then it uh, compared it with the second element and at the third comparison he found that my search element and my element in the array both are equal so now let's try to run it with a number which is not in the array and this time again 6 into the values let me say 2 8 4 9 7 4 okay now the search element will be 22 the number is not found okay we don't have a 22 number in my whole array that's why i said the number is not found so that was it hope you understood how the linear search program works and thanks for watching the video